All right, let's look at the Morgan really quick. Um, okay, all these colors here, um, these are all realistic colors for Morgans. I don't really care about colors too much, but something that really irks me are these two colors right here, these spotted colors. Morgans can be spotted, but they're typically not, and they did the same thing with the Tennessee Walking Horse. I feel like Star Stable cares way more about making money off of pretty colors than they actually care about the breed. Uh, yeah, they can come in these colors. It's cool to add stuff like this, but it's just, eh. I like the solid colors better. It's more traditional of the breed, um, but I don't really think that color matters too much. Um, anyway, so, so far I kind of, I pretty much like the breed. I will say, here I'm gonna buy one really quick. Here we go. Um, I did up the way I wanted it. Uh, let's look at the animations really quick. Uh, the Morgan, I like their walk. They have a very decent walk. I, I honestly really love that animation. I notice how long their tail is. That's, that's really cool. Um, let's throw a tax set on. Oh goodness, I don't really like that one. Oh, well. Yeah, that's even worse. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll figure out the tax set later. It doesn't really matter right now. Um, anyway. Uh, animations. Walk's pretty nice. Um, did a really good job on that. I, they usually do. The trot. I like their trot. Got a nice little trot. It's very... Hmm. Very, very up. Here we go. Lope. Lope's pretty nice too. Their rear is good. I like the rear. Um, let's see. I'm also having to do a voiceover because I already recorded the audio and it didn't actually record. So this, ah, uh, it's a mess. It's a mess. It really is. Uh, anyway, uh, I love their turning animations. Always mention how much I like that. How they dip their heads now and you know dip their shoulders and all that. Uh, anyway. The, so far, they did a really, really good job. Um, Morgans are actually kind of... I'd say they did a good job on their height, too. Morgans are rather small horses. Um, so I appreciate they've... You know, so far, they've done a really nice job. Uh, again, Lope. Their Lope is really nice. Uh, it's kind of lazy. I like that. Their Canter's pretty lazy. I like that, too. Uh, and then our Gallop. I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of the Gallop, honestly. I mean, it's okay, but... Overall, I like their animations. Stop. Ugh, I don't really like sliding stops. It's really bad for horses' legs. Uh, anyway. So, the Morgan. Let's talk some logistics for a minute. The Morgan, I don't know too much about the Morgan, but I do know that people uh, have really been comparing them to other breeds and saying they look too much like other breeds in this game, which is valid, but I don't know if you guys have really looked at the history of horses. There's only about, like, somewhere between like six and ten real horse breeds that are found naturally so comparing them to these other breeds and saying oh they look like this well yeah they're going to uh, I could put a picture of a Morgan Tennessee Walker saddlebred and standard bred all on screen right now tell me if you can tell the difference between them the only way you can is hey FFA kids are you an equine judging I know you guys should know the answer to this come on what are our answers all right you know, unless you work with these horses, or you're one of my uh, one of my fellow well, not fellow I've I've graduated now uh, quite a few years ago. Um, if you were one of my uh, equine judging kids, you, you gotta know those horses. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm told they look a lot like the Welsh, which I'm just comparing them right now, and I don't really see it honestly. I mean, I I guess I do, but there's more than enough differences there. I feel like the Welsh in its own right, I didn't do a review on it because I think they did really well with the Gen 2. I didn't think that a Gen 3 was actually needed. Um, anyway, so continuing on. Uh, the Morgan is historically related to the, um, uh, the Arabian and the Thoroughbred. The Arabian is an American breed. It was, traditionally, it was a cavalry horse. It was used in the cavalry during the Civil War. Now, I'm gonna grab a Gen 2 Morgan as soon as I can find him, and uh, I'm going to um, show you the animations for the Gen 2 uh, versus the the Gen 3 and versus the other Gen 2 horses. Because if you want to talk about lazy creation of horses and lazy animation, um, look at the Gen 2 Morgan and the Gen 2 Shire, uh, as well as the um, the Gen 2 Icelandic. I can show you the um, 
the animations for all of these. Clean up the barn really quick. Um, I will show you these animations because they are very, very ungodly similar to one another. But um, back to their history. Uh, the Morgan was... There we go. <laughs> Let's see. I, I have a book that uh, explains history of breeds. Um, they were founded in either 1789 or 1793, and they were from Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, they were The horse was acquired by a Vermont schoolmaster named Justin Morgan, and they were named after him. So they were a very, very American breed. Here, let's uh, animations. Walk, trot. There we go. Walk, trot, and lope. And rear. Okay, so that's our Gen 2. Now, let's look at a Gen 2 Shire. And just to compare these animations for people saying animations were lazy. Look at these older animations and tell me the difference. Here we go. Walk, trot, and lope. And rear. Did you see any difference between those two horses? Because I did not. Um, you want to talk about lazy horses, that's... <laughs> there you go. Um... Most of the Gen 2 horses had the same animations. So, for people saying that they're being lazy now, at least most of the animations that I have seen uh, with these Gen 3 horses have been unique in their own regard. Which is hard to do, because, you know, you could only move your feet in so many different ways before it is going to look like another horse. So, repetition's not bad. Now, so here we go again. Walk, trot, lope, and rear. Exact same. Those are three uh, Gen 2 or Gen 2.5 horses that had the exact same animations, despite being vastly di What is this? Hitbox? Good lord. Okay. Oh, okay, well. Let me struggle really quick. What did they do to the Icelandic's hitbox? My lord. Okay. Now that that embarrassment is over, uh, let's go back to the Morgan. Um, so, for people saying that they're very lazily done, I don't see what they're saying. I, I really don't. Uh, let's compare it now. People are going to compare it to the Arabian, which, valid. Because they're related to the Arabian. Uh, a Morgan is a descendant of an Arabian horse. So if we go over here and compare it to our Arabian, then we can see exactly where people are coming from. Now, I don't think this comparison is a bad thing. Because, um, it's really not. Um, like, again, you should be able to compare them. Uh, when people are comparing these and saying, oh, they look too much alike, they're too similar, I look at this and I say, this is this is a historical lifeline right here. Like, you can see the comparison. You can see the descendant. Um, people are also saying that the Morgan's head is too fat. That's not true. The Morgan has a very wide and broad head. Um, that is very accurately done. So this horse right here, the Arabian, like, this is its ancestor. It came from this horse. So to say it looks like this horse is very accurate, and it should be. So, again, for people to say, like, you know, oh, they look similar, they're going to. Um, I think it was very beautifully done. Now let's take the, the, uh, Thoroughbred, for example. The Thoroughbred is another horse that influenced the creation of the Morgan. See, it also has a broader head than the, uh the Arabian. Let's get them lined up really quick. You can see the similarities. Even in Star Stable, like, they did a very good job on their visuals between horses. Star Stable usually does a good job with their Gen 3 horses for visuals. So you can see the descent. You can see the re the relativity. Now let's get a uh, Akultiki in here because um, the oldest breed, one of the oldest breeds in the world, it's extinct now, it was the Turkmen. Um, the Akultiki is the closest related breed to the Turkmen that still exists. Now, the Turkmen didn't go extinct in the same way that most animals do. Uh, the Turkmen was just bred into all these other breeds, and no one bred purebred Turkmens anymore. So now, you have the Akultiki, which is the closest related to the Turkmen that you can still see today. And, um, so if we get a lineup here, this is just history. This is literally a lineup of all the- you start with your Turkmen, you get your, um, Arabian, you get your, uh, there you go, Mongolian Turkmen horse, which is now the, the Akultiki. Then you get your Arabian from the Saudi Arabian Peninsula, you get your Thoroughbred, um, and then you get your Morgan. Like, then you would have your Tennessee Walker here. The Tennessee Walker was a mix of the Morgan and the Saddlebred. It was 
the epitome of American history. It came around in the 18, uh, 1863. Um, like, this is just a lineup of history. Like, you can see how all these breeds are related. You can see the progression, the change, um, the adaptivity to people's needs. You Again, your Mongolian wild horse that was for raids running in the desert. Then you have your desert Arabian, which has a little better stamina. Then you have your English thoroughbred, which is running, go, go, go. And then you have your amazing Morgan, your cavalry horse, your tried and true, your work horse, and then your Tennessee Walker, your plantation horse, the one who did the hard jobs, your the one you could rely on for your farm work, for, you know, going in between your crops, not ruining anything. You have your progression, you have your history, all of it is right here, and I think Star Stable did an amazing job with this. It is amazing to be able to line up all these horses and see this history. Uh, I really appreciate this. Um, I don't know if many people will appreciate it as much as I do, but I hope you do. And um, I think that the Morgan was very, very well done. The the Morgan was just... It's a very, very well done breed. Um, so for everyone who's going to say that you know, oh, it looks like these other horses. It's supposed to. You know, um, take your uh, Pasifina, for instance. That was one that they didn't do a good job on. Visuals, absolutely yes, but animations were horrendous. Now, I feel like they... Another reason they did so well on the Morgan was because it doesn't really have any fancy gates. Yes, Morgans can be gated, by the way. I have seen gated Morgans. I have worked with them in the past. Um, you can have gated Morgans, but they're not typically gated. And I feel like that's where Star Stable falls short, is when you have all these animations. Uh, oh, hang on, let's read the history. They have the basic history, but they, they went very broad and said 1790s, which, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Um, the, it doesn't go into the American history, though. This was a cavalry horse. In World and the Civil War, in um, which started 1861 and ended 1865, this was the horse that all your soldiers were riding, even into the beginning of World War I. Um, these were the horses people were using. They were so strong for their size. They were these little compact horses, super strong, could do exactly what you needed them to do. They were used for races and harness pulls and everything. So for all horses of their size, you couldn't beat them. Like they were the most bang for your buck, amazing little horses. But um, back to what I was saying, um, you just, you can't get that now with Star Stable. When, as soon as you get all these fancy gates, like running walk, flat walk, um, Paso Fino, Paso Largo, uh, Classe Corto, um, Paso Corto, Paso Largo, and Classic Fino. That's what they are. Sorry, I messed that up. That's when they mess up. That's when Star Stable doesn't understand, because they just don't know. Uh, and we're gonna go through global really quick. Everyone's gonna talk about, talk crap about this horse. Everyone, I, I can already see it. People are not going to like this horse. It's not gonna be very well received, because people think that it's just a cash cow. It's just, oh, here we are just updating another old horse. They throw something together, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I see in this horse. I see a horse that the history was very was phoned in, I will agree. that The history was phoned in. But the, the animations are very nice. Just the horse in general is very nice. This is a good little horse. Especially in real life, like for beginners, Morgans are an amazing breed. Morgans are just great. And I feel like they're going to be very, very overlooked. But Please welcome one of these little guys into your stable and appreciate them for what they are. And I'm really going to like this horse. I know I will. And I hope that uh, you will end up liking it as well. And so this has been Horseman Reacts to the Morgan. I think the Morgan was very, very well done. And I don't really have much bad to say about this horse. So um, I will say thank you all for watching. And get yourself a Morgan. They're worth the star coins.